Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and we finally have a ROM based on Android 7.1.1 which is really suitable for rock stable daily usage on our Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. And I'm talking about the brand new released Renovate Ice Note 8 port version 1.1. I already did a couple of videos on this project. If you want to see the progress that's been done since the first release, check the videos in the card section. Today I will make an overview of this ROM and since I got lots of requests regarding the mods working on it, I will also show you how to install the Viper for Arise dual speaker mod and a trial theme and of course the installation process of this ROM is standard. I won't get again into the procedure, you will need TWRP, if you don't know what TWRP is check the video on how to install it in the card section of course, then wipe your device, click install select renovate ties, swipe to install, configure installation and that's it. The first booting process will take a while so be patient. So after my device booted up, let me tell you some of the most crucial bugs that have been successfully fixed. The first one is the video camera bug not working with the video stabilization and shape correction on. Also the green image sent in chat apps like WhatsApp, Telegram was fixed and now you can easily send the picture by using the in-app specific camera app without any green image. I've been using this ROM already for more than 12 hours and I couldn't experience any random reboots or root problems like I did in the previous build and that's thanks to the brand new notorious kernel NK208 by Ferravitis. Now let's make a really fast introduction how to install all the mods. Ok, let's start with how to install a custom theme on this ROM. So install your desired APK, go into theme store, apply the theme by clicking free trial and then get yourself from google play store a root browser. Navigate to system, priv app folder and scroll down until you'll find the theme center folder. Enter it and rename the apk file to apk.back. Of course, that will mainly break the functionality of the theme store but if you want a custom theme then that's a sacrifice you'll need to take in mind, at least for now. Into another little fix, Renovate IT devs always seem to forget to update the revision number and if you're getting the wrong ROM version into Rice app, here's how you can modify it. Go again with your root explorer app into system and edit the build.prop file using the integrated text editor. Go to the line where it says renovate ice underline version and change it to 1.1, the version you have already flashed. Save the file and then reboot so that both the theme fixed and the revision number are fixed for now. After the booting process everything should be fine. How to install Viper for Arise, Dolby Sound or whatever sound tweaking app you may prefer, the way I did it in my video listed into the card section. Go into TWRP and flash the Arise zip after you configure the Arise underline customized profile. For more details again watch the video in the card section. Will it work? Well I opened the app, opened also the sound app provided by Samsung and I could adjust the gain value from the Viper for Arise app and that means it works perfectly. So does the Dolby Atmos application. A guy asked me how to install dual speaker mod on the Note 8 ports. The easiest way would be to go into Magisk Manager and download the dual speaker mod for S8 or S8 Plus. Install it, reboot and as far as I can tell by listening to it, it definitely works. So yeah, that's how to install it. Camera mod? Well, not yet supported. Devs just fixed the Note 8 camera, we'll have to wait for further updates. And time. That was the quick introduction on how to install any mods that were previously working on the S8 firmware, right now working on the Note 8 port. Let's dive in more into the new Renovate Ice ROM. So Renovate Ice means that it is fully customizable using the Rice app. I won't get into detail now with all you can do with this astonishing app, I already have an in-depth overview of it in the card section if you want to see the full potential of it. One thing that surprised me was that the dev managed to implement the code so that some features won't need the reboot anymore to get changes applied. Not all of them but some of them and that's a really great sign. Well, while browsing through the Telegram chat support of Renovate Ice, a link to it you can find in the description, I saw that there is another little bug with the front facing camera regarding the auto mode which doesn't seem to work. Anyway, selfie mode works so that's not such a huge problem. I'm sure devs will fix it in the next release and uh, as far as I can see right now, MWilkie already said that he fixed it 
and a new version will be published tonight. So that's great news. Apart from that, everything is working as it should be. As I stated before, this ROM comes with the brand new Notorious kernel by Faravitis, which is highly customizable using the Mtwix app. I also have a video about this kernel, it will be listed at the end of the video. What really surprised me was that the gaming performance, Need for Speed No Limits, seems to give me a higher average FPS over 30. At least that's how I felt and saw the FPS counter showing me so. Let's talk about the battery life a little bit because I know all of you are interested in this aspect. So I flashed this ROM at 17% and now after all the reboots, heavy usage and more than 30 minutes of screen on time I have 65% which is really a great value. Also the standby drain is pretty damn small after more than 12 hours only 4% of the battery was lost and that means almost 0.34% per hour. Let me go through the sensor check app to see if there are any problems. Everything was working as expected, rotation sensor, proximity, gyroscope, step counter and so on and so forth. So yeah, everything is stable and suitable for daily usage. Bluetooth works, GPS works, fingerprint sensor works, iris scanner works, everything works out of the box. So to sum up what I can say. The Renovate Ice Note 8 port is getting better and better as we approach more and more to the S8 Oreo beta update. Things start to look really promising. Anyways, this was the overview for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all my uploads. I am Wicked and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. If you like my video, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye-bye.